Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. This is Sama Awad, the director of Arabic studies at GAA. Today, I will tell you a different story. Today, I will tell you why me. This story will show us that everyone has the potential to change his or her life, regardless of what we are going through. We need to believe, accept, and love ourselves. A story about young Palestinian refugee girl born in 1986 and lost her mother in the same year. Yes, we can all agree that this young lady faced a hard life by, her, by herself. Her life will not be easy. She grew up with her dad and her stepmom in one of the Palestinian camps in Lebanon. Since her early years at the school, she displayed her leadership skills. The people around her noticed the compassion in her leadership. That was due to her struggle with obesity and the way she coped with her mother loss. When you suffer in your life and feel the pain, it makes more easy simply to telling someone that you care. When you find yourself alone, it makes you feel deeply with another person as they experience the ups and downs in life. That pain and sadness make it easier to treat others with love, compassion, empathy, and understanding. She was bullied by most of the people around her because of her weight and how she ruined her life by not taking care of herself and her health. Imagine. The main reason behind the bullying was the, the, the stereotyping perspective that she will not get married. This, this elegant lady knew that it was a very hard and tough life for her. You are now wondering what she did and how she faced that issue. The constant pressure pushed her to eat more until she became an, an emotional eater. Yeah, she gained more weight and to neglect her grade nine formal examination. She faced a challenging and tough life. The only silver lining was her dad believes in her. She knew she was an elegant girl with the beautiful blue eyes. After everyone yelled haram at her for being overweight, you know what haram means, true? This elegant lady decided to start a new chapter in her life. She drove herself to study well and ignore all of what she was facing. She believed in herself, promised herself, and started working hard to finish high school and be ready for the university. She wanted to, to let all of the people around her know that success does not and will not ever depend on body image. And she can do what she believes in. What do you think? Did this young lady achieve her goal? Let's see. Samah was the first girl in her family to attend university in Beirut. Yeah, she left the small camp and moved to the big city to map a new journey in her life. She was able to do that because she believed in herself and she knew well that nothing will change if she does not start that change by herself. She graduated from the university with high honor degree and won a third place competition regarding or about the Arabic language and the current challenges among all universities in Lebanon. She broke the imaginary glass ceiling placed on her by the cultural beliefs and roles. 
she lost 35 kilograms, which made her a more confident woman that strengthened her passion to acquire knowledge. She became an excellent cook, yeah, who made a very healthy and yummy food. She learned how to ride the bike at the age of 34 during the pandemic situation. It's a truly, they, they call 2020 pandemic situation, but for Samah, it was the year of achievement. Currently, I'm working in a fantastic school, Gems American Academy, in a leadership position. I finished my master's degree in educational leadership with distinction at the age of 34, while I'm having two kids and full-time job. Not only that, I enrolled myself in the coaching master program to be able to help other people find their passion. I, I began my self-care journey a long time ago, and it's now the time to help other people during their life journey. I started an Instagram page to inspire, motivate, and support other people, something that young Samah could have benefited from. Now, I indeed know why me. Do you know why me? The ball is always in your court, and you can simply make a difference by believing in yourself. We need always to remember that our life is in our hand, and we have the magic key to change, this, to change it. You need to find your passion, set your goals, and move forward toward your dream. Don't forget to love yourself and never give up. Much love and God bless. Thank you.